This attacking technique is something I've been using a lot lately, especially with the 4 triple 2 and it's something I've used in previous years just because of how effective it is at opening up space, creating run, basically creating goal scoring opportunities. I'm about to break it down for you. Three men, three men around him to somehow find some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. It almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! It's a Absolutely ridiculous. The last to go on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest. We talked about this in FIFA. He's not here to make up the numbers. Holding the ball with your wing bats is one of the most crucial aspects of an attack in FIFA 22, especially if you're using a wide formation, the likes of the 4-2-3-1, the 4 triple 2 the 4-3-3, whatever it is. And the reason being is when you hold the ball with your wing back, it's very easy to keep possession because a lot of the time he will be in a wide position to receive the ball. You will always have a passing option if he becomes pressured. And what I mean by that is you always be able to switch the ball to the opposite wing back. You'll always have a pass into the center back or you will always have a pass into the winger but more importantly is when you keep the ball with your wing back what it does is draw the defense of your opponent towards the side to where you have the ball and this leaves gaps and space in the middle for you to exploit and it's a way I've been attacking for many years now especially now with the 4 triple 2 and the fact that we don't have driven passes to counter attack anymore through balls are not that overpowered and what I find works is regular A slash X passes. So using your wing bats in your attack is a very, very good way of just keeping things simple, opening up space and gaps and basically drawing the defense out to that side. The other thing is, if there is opportunity for you to sprint up the line and he is not marking your wing back, then you can do so. And what this does is allow you to progress up the pitch even further. And he can't track every runner because your winger will be making runs, your striker will be making runs, and your midfielder will be making runs. Opening up space, finding the angles, finding gaps, and scoring goals. Specifically with the 4 triple 2, I like using my wing bats to take them up towards the actual byline to where the corner flag is and a lot of the time I'll find a central pass into the winger or the cam, the right or left cam who's available inside who will then apply another pass into the center and in general lads it's a very good way of in general opening up the gaps in the inside the bots to score yourself a cheeky goal. I said this in my custom tactics video, I said literally that my wing bats are probably the players that are touching the ball the most out of any uh, player on the pitch and that's simply because they are so useful for building up the attack They're hard to tackle the ball off because you always have an option for a pass If you have the ball with your wing bats and in general lads it opens up space because it draws the defense out to that side So be deaf so be sure to use your wing bats more often especially if you are Using a wider formation but that will signal the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it Smash a like drop a sub and also check me out on Instagram and TikTok. We're doing tutorials over there I'm coaching one-on-one -on -one as well, so go and check that out, lads. If you want private coaching with me, I'm doing so. Okay, over on patreon.com. The links are in the description down below. But as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Signer, au revoir, adios, salam, ciao. Goodbye.